Well, first of all, how nice it is to have a film that demands to be seen on a giant screen. Thank you for bringing audiences back to the cinematic collective experience. Yeah. 저 자신도 코비드 시절에 극장을 못간 시기에 처음에는 답답했는데 빨리 가고 싶고 근데 시, 시간이 오래 흐르니까 또 거기 익숙해져 갖고 그냥, 그냥 잊어버리고 살게 되더라고요. I myself could not go to the theaters during COVID and at first it was frustrating but you eventually get accustomed to it. 그러다가 이제 드디어 영화를 좀볼수 있게 조금 상황이 호전되기 시작할 때 어, 처음 영화관에서 본 영화가 음, 아네트라는 영화였어요. And when the situation got better and I could finally see a movie in the theaters, the first movie I watched in a theater was Annette. 영화 자체도 너무나 좋았고 극장에서 영화를 본다는 게 이렇게 행복한 일이구나라는 것을 실감하면서 거의 좀 눈물이 나더라고요. The movie itself was also very good, but I have forgotten how happy it makes me to see a movie in a theater. I was almost on the verge of tears. 그래서 어, 역시 나의 이 사명은 나의 소명은 영화관에 있구나라는 것을 깨달았습니다. That's how I realized my mission is at the theaters. 네, 재밌는 사실은 현재 제가 현재 작업하고 있는 작품은 어, TV 시리즈입니다. The funny thing being that I'm currently working on a TV series, actually. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's okay. We have this for now, and um, this film is being released very soon, later this month, it, by Mubi, and it will be at our own theaters here at Lincoln Center later in October, so tell a friend. So, Director Park, first question. I was thinking as I was rewatching the movie, it's it it could be a detective story with a romance built inside it, or it could be a romance that revolves around a detective story. Uh, what do you think? Where, where where did the where did the idea start? Did did one of these ideas drive the other or inspire you more? 시간적으로는 형사 영화 만들겠다는 생각이 먼저 있었습니다. Chronologically speaking, uh, the detective idea came to me first. 그리고 나서 이 이제 어떤 형사라는 캐릭터라는 것은 좀 약간 머릿속에 있었는데 플롯은 아직 떠오르지 않았어요. So at that time, I had a general idea of what this detective character would look like, but I did not have a plot yet. 그러다가 음, 안개라는 지금 방금 들으신 이 노래를 듣게 됐습니다. 그래서 이, 어, 오랫동안 안 듣고 이, 잊고 있었던 노래인데 제가 어렸을 때부터 들었던 어, 아주 친숙한 곡이긴 하지만 그 곡을 들을 때이이 아, 이 노래를 사용하는 사운드랙에 사용하는 영화를 만들고 싶다는 생각을 했어요. And that's when I came upon the song Mist. It is a song that I've always enjoyed and loved since I was little, but I haven't listened to it in a long time. And when I listened to it again, that's when I thought I want to make a movie about this song. 지금 자막을 읽으셨겠지만 노래 가사는 어, 가사를 음미해 보면 이것은 로맨스 영화가 될 수밖에 없죠. You must have read through the subtitles, but when you think about the lyrics of the song, it had to be a romance film. <웃음> 그래서 로맨스 영화를 또 만들고 싶다는 생각을 따로 또 하게 됐습니다. So I had a separate idea of wanting to make a romance film. 그러다 어느 순간 두 개를 합쳐야겠다는 생각이 들었어요. And at some point I realized I could combine the two. 그러다 보니 저의 이제 목적은 뚜렷해졌는데 So that's when I had the clear purpose of 형사 영화로서의 성격과 로맨스 영화로서의 성격이 에, 이이 기획이 합쳐진 만큼 이두 장르의 성격이 완, 완전히 하나가 된 그런 영화가 되어야 한다는 목표죠. And the purpose was since I'm combining both the detective film and the romance film, the characteristics and the vibe also had to be of one thing. 그래서 형사가 어, 임무 업무를 끝내고 퇴근하고 비번일 때 여자를 만나는 그런 얘기가 아니라 그게 완전 하나가 된 영화가 되어야 된다는 것이었습니다. So it's not a story about a detective who meets a woman after work. It had to be one coherent thing. 그것을 수행하기 위해서 모든 노력이 집중됐습니다. 
and I worked my best to achieve that purpose. Let me follow up and ask you a little bit more about the song. The song plays such a key, uh, key role in unlocking this um, relationship between these two types of films you were thinking about. It's sort of the, the key to all of it for you. Why was the song, if you don't mind sharing a little bit more about why the song was so meaningful and, and how it played that key role for you? 예, 그건 굉장히 개인적인 것이겠죠. 어, 한국 사람이라면 다 아는 노래인데 유독 제가 이 노래 어, 꽂혔는지 그리고 또왜 어려서부터 알고 있는 노래인데 좋아했던 노래인데 왜그 시기에 유독 또 꽂혔는지 그거는 어, 뭐그 어, 그 순간 어느 뭐 영감이 나한테 왔다는 식으로밖에 설명할 수 없을 것 같아요. So I guess it's a very personal matter to me. Uh, every Korean person is aware of the song, but why it came to me at that particular point of my life, uh, why it inspired me in that way, I think it had to be a, kind, a special kind of inspiration that has struck me in that moment. But I uh, but this I will mention, the female version of the song that is a lot more well known. But a few years ago, I want to say like three years ago, I did run upon uh, the male version of the song. 근데 이 남자 가수, 여자 가수 다 남자 가수 중에 최고, 여자 가수 중에 최고로 제가 좋아하는 저의 영웅들입니다. And both the female singer and the male singer are one of my favorite singers and my heroes. 그런데 남자 가수의 버전이 있다는 사실을 알게 됐을 때 즉각적으로 든 생각이 아 여자 가수 버전으로 계속 영화 속에 이 노래가 등장하다가 마지막 장면에서만 남자 가수의 목소리 그 버전이 탁 어, 반전처럼 깜짝 놀라게 에, 나오는 그런 영화를 만들고 싶다는 생각이 들었던 겁니다. And when I found out about the male version of the song, I realized I want to make a movie that includes both the female version of the song and the male version of the song. Uh, specifically, we hear the female version of the song throughout the movie, and only in the last scene do we hear the male version, which would come as a surprise and a big reversal. 그런데 어, 편집을 하면서 남자 가수 버전을 마지막에 써봤더니 이 영화가 너무 남자의 이야기로 그냥 귀결돼 버리고 말더라고요. Uh, but in the editing lab, when we put the male version at the end of the film, I realized this really makes the film into a very male character-centered plot. 그래서 결국은 그 버전을 사용하지 못하고 그 가수 두 분을 지금 70대이시지만 두 분을 스튜디오로 모셔서 어렵게 설득했어요 정말. 그래서 겨우겨우 모셔가지고 듀엣 버전을 세상에 없던 버전을 새로 녹음을 했습니다. So I ended up not using that male version. Instead, I invited the two singers who are now in their 70s. It was very difficult to have them both in the studio to record a to totally different duet version of that song. 여러분이 들으신 게 바로 그거고요. 이, 이 노래를 녹음하던 그 현장에 제가 있었던 기억은 정말 저에게 영화 감독이 된 보람을 느끼게 해준 평생 못 잊을 추억이 됐습니다. And the song you heard play over the credits is that exact duet version. And sitting in that studio and watching those two singers sing was one of the most unforgettable, happiest memories of my life as a filmmaker. Thank you. Bar Kail. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to New York. What do you think so far? 네, 어제 밤에 왔습니다. 음, I got in last night. <웃음> 에, JFK 공항에 도착하자마자 피곤하긴 했지만 음, 오늘 아침 일어나서 어, 이렇게 여러분들과 만날 생각하니까 굉장히 설레었습니다. 지금도 너무 행복합니다. Landing here, landing at JFK last night, and I was very exhausted, but I woke up feeling very energetic and excited for the idea of meeting you guys in person. And I'm really still very nervous, but also very elated about everything that's happening right now. We're, we're so glad to have you here. 
I'm I'm so mesmerized by the notion of this this these different aspects of this film that we talked about just a moment ago the romance, the detective, the, the, a song being sort of a, a key to unlocking some of the mysteries of the film. But how did you um, how did you read it from your perspective as an actor and maybe share with us some of the conversations you had as you were uh, working with director Park to develop how you would approach this role? Uh, 또는 뭐 올드보이에서처럼 낙지를 먹는 그런 아, 충격적인 장면이 있는가 아니면 또 강렬한 섹스신이 또 포함되어 있는가 이런 여러 가지 폭탄 같은 배우로서의 부담감을 안고 감독님의 제안 캐스팅에 대한 이야기를 들어봤었는데 As if if you are familiar with um, all the director Park's work, he has He's known to create a storyline that may leave a strong scratch in everyone's heart as you watch through an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> and so when I first heard the casting uh, request, I was very nervous. I was also very worried about any significant or extreme violent scene that I might have to be part of. <laughs> or perhaps eating live octopus like someone had to do with <laughs> old boy. Or very earth-shattering um, and vigorous sex scene, or anything that would be a challenge to me as an actor. So I came in with a very heavy-hearted and a lot of nervousness. 그래서 이번 작품을 같이 제안하자고 해서 어, 뭐 바에 앉아가지고 한 시간 동안 감독님이 이야기로 어, 줄거리를 어, 쭉 얘기해 주셨습니다. So when we actually met in person, we sat down. We sat down at the bar. And for one hour straight, without stopping, he just started from beginning to an end of the entire storyline of this film. 음, 말씀하신 얘기 중에 인상적인 이야기들은 어, 극 중에 장혜준 캐릭터가 어, 내성적이다. 음, 용의자라 할지라도 시민들한테 친절한 경찰 공무원이다. 어, 불면증에 시달린다. 이런 부분들이 어, 기존에 한국 영화에서 많이 다뤘던 형사의 모습과 너무나 차이가 커서 어, 굉장히 호기심을 많이 느꼈고 어, 감독님께서 그리려 그리시는 어, 이 헤어질 결심이라는 이야기가 그래 이게 나라는 배우가 감독님과 어, 섞여서 가장 멋진 작품을 해낼 거라는 확신이 들었습니다. Um, if I were to mention a couple things that re that resonated with me and that stayed with me from that one hour storyline marathon is that this character, the Chang Hejun, is an introvert and is also a kind government worker policeman who is kind to everyone including the suspects as part of the citizen of this country but also going through and suffering from insomnia. There are a lot of things in those characteristics that seemed very uncommon and not the usual idea of how the detectives are portrayed in Korean film, films, which really made me intrigued more into the idea. And ultimately, the vision that the director Park had um, of this film decision to leave and how me as an actor to have the synergies created with the director Park which is that all of those things combined is what made me more attracted to be working on this film. 제가 이 작품의 감독님의 이야기에 가장 매력적이라고 생각하는 것은 어, 자부심과 품위를 가진 어, 직업을 가진 한 인물이 어, 또 다른 인물을 만나면서 어, 이야기의 흐름에 따라 그 감정의 파고를 어, 격하게 느끼는 어, 그 관계의 이야기가 너무나 매력적이라고 생각이 들었습니다. 여러분들이 보셨듯이. 
The most attractive factor that led me to decide to work on this film is this characteristic that is filled with pride and dignity, mm -hmm. but how a person like that meets another person in his life and goes through this ebbs and flows of the emotions and the roller coaster, and how that relationship is portrayed throughout the entire storyline is what really made me decide to be part of it and was very excited to join the team. We are so proud to be able to share the movie at this year's festival. I've gotten the signal that we're out of time, but I want to thank the two of you for coming to share the film with us, talking with us tonight, and participating in the 60th New York Film Festival. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good night.